Hey guys, Jesse from True Footy here. It's finally the business end of the season and the AFL finals are here. If you haven't already, check out the latest episode of the True Footy podcast where the boys and I discuss the first week of the finals in quite a bit of depth. In the meantime, however, I'm going to give you a shorter version of our predictions for the whole 2018 final series. On Thursday night, the Tigers take on the Hawks at the MCG. This is a fascinating clash, not least because it's one team coming off an incredible premiership dynasty coming up against a side hoping to establish one in the coming weeks and beyond. These two teams I find an interesting comparison as to me they both appear greater than the sum of their parts, but operate under such an excellent game plan and structures that they generally play to a high standard regardless of personnel changes. With respect to the amazing list regeneration Hawthorne has been able to affect, to me they just do not have the gear that Richmond do this season. I predict the Tigers will win by 25 points. On Friday night, the Demons take on the Cats again at the MCG. This game has the potential to be match of the week, especially considering the amazing finishes to both of their encounters against each other this year. You could argue these results could give the Cats a mental edge over the Demons, but personally, I actually think this will spur the Demons on. I saw Melbourne up close in a finals-like atmosphere in Perth a few weeks ago, and I believe they've lifted a level of intensity since those games. I'll make a big call here and say the Demons will win this by 31 points. The Sydney GWS clash has me pretty uncertain. On the one hand, GWS could have as many as seven ins rumoured from the smash, including superstar forward Toby Green. On the other hand, the Swans played very well in the final round against the Hawks in a virtual final, despite missing both Parker and Buddy. The Giants have won the only previous final between these sides, but it was also their only win at the SCG. Considering both teams' reinforcements, I predict the Giants will win a close one by six points. The second qualifying final between the Eagles and Collingwood is a little closer to my heart. For me, a lot rests upon the potential inclusions for both sides. For the Eagles, Josh Kennedy and Lewis Jetta look set to return, while Adam Trelaw and Scott Pendlebury are rumoured to miss for the Magpies back. The inclusions of Moore and Howe will, however, help the Pies deal with the Eagles' tall forward line. I predict West Coast win by three points. The semi-finals in Week 2 are where the upsets begin for me. Despite the Hawks dealing with the Demons quite easily during the home and away season, and their superior finals experience, I think the Demons will be able to carry on their momentum into this semi-final and get the job done. I believe the Demons have a rare mix of toughness and skill that will see them overcome the Hawks by 11 points. Apologies to my friend Kaboom if you're watching this, but the Hawks have had a pretty good run in recent years. In the other semi-final, I predict the Magpies will beat the Giants at the MCG. This was a tough call for me given the Giants suddenly have a massive stack of talent available, but their playing record at the MCG has been unconvincing to say the least. I predict Collingwood will win by 18 points. This sets up the first preliminary final at the MCG between Richmond and Collingwood. In my mind, the gap in quality between these two sides is just too significant. Richmond won both home and away clashes between these sides by 43 and 28 points, and given the magnitude of it being a preliminary final, I expect they will go to another level again. Richmond will win this game by 44 points. The other preliminary final will be played in Perth between West Coast and Melbourne. Despite the Demons being too strong in the Round 22 clash at Optus Stadium, the Eagles were without both key forwards Josh Kennedy and Jack Darwin. Melbourne did have their own injuries at the time, but I suspect winning three big finals in a row may be too arduous a task for that young Demon side. The Eagles will go to another level with the home final crowd and win by 19 points. This sets up the only fitting grand final matchup, in my opinion, between Richmond and West Coast. Personally, I don't buy into the fact that the Eagles won't cope with playing at the MCG on grand final day, given their recent form at the ground is pretty good and the fact that they have a good recent record there against Richmond too. However, Richmond have proven almost impossible to beat by anyone at the MCG this season. Assuming a clean bill of health for the Tigers, I predict they'll win the grand final by 23 points to go back to back. Thanks for watching guys, if you enjoyed it please consider subscribing or checking out the rest of our channel. As I said before we have a podcast previewing the final series which will continue as it progresses. Cheers!